everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then hey I'm Amy and welcome to my absolutely shambolic YouTube channel. So today I am doing a bit of a tipsy get ready with me. I'm not gonna lie it's about 11am. I've got my first gin of the day. I'm not a big drinker to be honest but let your hair down every once in a while. So I've got a nice orange gin with lemon and lime fizzy water. It's a great combo. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to go for bottomless brunch with Leighton and our two friends. So I thought I would do a bit of a chatty, get ready with me. I've not done one in the longest time. So yeah, come along, I hope you enjoy. And if you do, please smash the thumbs up and also subscribe. Honestly, it means the world to me. I have already done my old school combo of Saint Tropez, like fake tan water and post shave balm mix them together you use them as like a moisturizer it's so muggy i'm wearing shorts out and like this top showed a bit of a boob because i felt like i should just be a little bit slutty today um but yeah so i just need to hurry up and get ready really i'm just gonna put some stuff on my lips because why not maybe i should put my mirror there actually that's better I'm gonna, I am gonna I I am gonna probably keep looking there because I've got nowhere else to get ready really. I'm in a bit of a rush. Our table's booked for half one. Maybe it is like half eleven. So no, it's probably twelve actually. Having a shambolic morning, my new favourite word. Oh, I didn't get my beauty blender wet. Do I need to? Can I be asked? No. Should I get it wet? Yes. Am I gonna get it wet? No. I'm gonna start with foundation just because that's what I do now. I always used to do my eyebrows first, but I don't anymore. I'm gonna go in with my trusty, also if you're like an OG, you'll know I love this foundation. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in shade 6.5. It's a little bit dark to be honest. Um, basically, I used to wear this foundation to work every single day. Am I deluded? It's like 40 pounds a bottle, bear in mind. And now I don't, I literally wear it if I go out, that's it. And if not, I use the Maybelline Fit Me foundations. These are so nice. It's kind of a dupe of this, to be honest. I really like them. I wear them every day to work and I'll even wear them like going out if I don't feel like using this. But I do usually mix them together. They, this and 250 are pretty much spot on colours. So I'll probably do about two pumps of Giorgio Armani, And then I'll just do a little bit of this one. Yeah, okay, I'd say it's a little bit lighter to be fair. Um, but I am just gonna put a bit of 128 in as well, just because I'm not actually at my darkest at the moment. I don't know if you, you probably won't be able to see, but like that's the colour differences. Um, so yeah, they're all just like a little bit lighter than each other. So I will mix those up. It's like a foundation cocktail. Probably like have a reaction and it will oxidize or something. Oh, it's gonna really annoy me that I'm gonna be looking there constantly. Maybe I'll just bring the mirror down here. I've got like one of these little mirrors. Guys, I think I'm gonna save up to buy a camera now. Um, I've actually, if any of you watched my YouTube video when I got welly, um, like bringing home our cockapoo puppy or something like that. Um, well, I put my bought by many code on, which is like dog insurance. You probably find this so boring, some of you. Um, but you get a £25 voucher, no, £20 Amazon voucher for everyone that um like uses your code and they've got to like not cancel it in a month um and like I've got I think I've got 140 pounds from that like in Amazon now and obviously I can make money from YouTube as well so I was thinking I'm just going to save everything I make from YouTube and this bought by many voucher and then eventually buy my camera with it I thought that would be like a nice way to buy my camera because I want the Canon G7X which is like standard youtuber everyone's got one but yeah i thought they're they're about 500 quid and i probably i could buy it if i wanted to but i just want to like make it like i would have earned it kind of thing so i think i'm gonna wait or maybe like i'll save up 300 and then i'll put in like 200 but yeah i want to get a camera because i'm sick of filming on my phone now it's just like i'm done with it anyway we're going to turtle bay which it's probably my favourite place for bottomless brunch. The food's banging. I always pay like three pounds extra and upgrade to like a proper meal. And I get the fried chicken with 
mac and cheese banging. Last time I went to Turtle Bay, I was so annoyed. So we were just sat there waiting for our drinks. This lady brings our drinks over. She puts my drink down. Like she literally was, she came over holding my drink like this. Obviously they're freezing cold, they're icy. My hands are slipping like that anyway. She dropped the whole drink on the table. Obviously it fell over, went all down me, all down my jacket, I was livid. I was so annoyed, Leighton was laughing. Well, he was trying not to laugh, but he definitely found it hilarious. I didn't find it so funny. And they forgot my friend's food. So at the end, my friend's quite like confident. So she basically said like, your colleagues put a whole drink down my friend and you forgot my food. Like, is there anything we can do to the bill? They put 10 pounds off, 10 pounds. I know that's better than nothing, but come on, 10 pounds. I was expecting like at least one free brunch, but I guess you do get a lot of drinks, don't you? So that's foundation done. Concealer, I picked up this concealer, the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And this is in the shade light beige. It is very light. I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. Longest time I've been using the Fit Me concealer. This is banging, I love it. This is quite thick, whereas this is quite thin. Um, and this is in the shade 10. You can obviously tell they're very different colors. So I might go in with like a bit of both. Maybe I'll go in with this to begin with and then I'll lighten with the other one. But I've just been trying to try new makeup that's cheap as well. I just find makeup like such a bloody ball ache. Like who wants to sit here and do this? Not me. I used to have this as a kid load. My cheeks just come through really red again. I don't know why. Put a bit of concealer on them. I'm gonna put a bit of this in the corners of my eye. And a little bit out here. Last night, me and Leighton went for like a little date night. We went to this steakhouse called Carnicero in um, Southampton. It was so nice. We had Chateaubriand and it was unreal. What did we have it with? We had chips, Mediterranean veg and onion rings. And yeah, honestly, it was banging. Like, it was probably the best steak I've had in a long time. It was so nice. We're trying to do like a bit more like dates and stuff. And now I'm gonna go in with my trusty again. Used this for so many years. Laura Mercier translucent powder. This powder is just hands down the best. Like you just can't really go wrong with it. I'm just going to set under my eyes, chin, all of the bits I just put concealer on basically. Back to Turtle Bay, I'm going to get, there's my, there's one cocktail they do and it's banging, it's unreal, it's called a tingling and if you like, like refreshing drinks, it's got cucumber in, it's elderflower, gin, oh my god, my mum introduced me to it. And honestly, I'm obsessed. Like I get it every time. Last time I literally was drinking it the whole night. I, f I have a couple of raspberry reggae's and then pass me the tinglings. Honestly, they're so good. I'm trying to give you like a life update, but I don't actually think I've got one. Uh, at the moment, all I do is go to work, come home. I've started getting into the gym a little bit more again, which I feel quite good for. I've not been for about a week now, but I did start getting into it again. Um, yeah, that's made me feel better. I've lost a bit of weight. That's also made me feel better. But yeah, apart from that, I've not really been doing a lot. Just been like chilling, go to work, come home, go to sleep. Love Island. That's my new thing for the evening. Love Island, as much as I hate it, as much as I hate Love Island this year, it's rubbish. I just can't stop watching it. I think Brad is the most boring person ever. He's so boring. He's quite fit, yeah, but he's boring. You can't even talk, you can't understand him, he's boring. Kaz is like an angel, I love her. She's probably one of my favorites. Hey Chloe. Um, who else is in it? Lucinda is unreal. Oh, imagine looking like her, she's so fit. And then who else is there? Sharon, I hate Sharon and the name. Like that suits her, that name. But I feel like, I did like Aaron. However, I feel like he pied Sharon partly because of the two blonde girls that came in, Millie and Lucinda. But now they're not interested in Aaron. Aaron's like 
kissing and stuff Sharon in bed again or cuddling or whatever. I feel like he kind of pied Sharon for a new girl and they're not, they don't want him. So now he wants to get back with Sharon. But I feel like Sharon and Faye were really harsh to Hugo. Faye is actually warming on me a little bit, you know. I really hated her for quite a while, but yeah, she's warming on me. But yeah, apart from that, I don't really have a life update for you at all. Like, my life's full of absolute nothing at the moment. So yeah, no life update. Oh, I can't wait to go to Turtle Bay. Ooh, 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 ooh. We leave Welly out his crate now when we go out and he is so good. He literally just, he must just sleep because we come back and there's no mess or anything. So he literally must just sleep or play with his toys. But he's literally adorable. He's the best little pup ever. He's been a bit poorly actually. He, I think it's his teeth. He's like losing the massive ones now. And we found two. And he's not really been, in, been eating his biscuits. I think it's just because his teeth are like sore on him. And then he was sick the other day and he's just been a bit sleepy. But we gave him some chicken and rice to like settle his stomach. And he it does seem a lot better now, to be honest. He, yeah, he seems a lot brighter. And obviously we've got the final tomorrow of the Euros. What the hell? I actually cannot believe we're in the Euro. We're in the final of the Euros. Um, Leighton's going out with his friends. I asked if I could come. He said, no. Love you, Leighton. You're the best. So yeah, I'm gonna watch at home with my dad, I think, because he's not doing anything either. Oh, that's what I was gonna say about the Euros. So I saw this TikTok and it was like, um, it basically said, like now we've left the EU, like I don't understand why we're in the Euros. And I said it to Leighton, I was like, is it because like, obviously it was meant to be last year and last year we were still in the EU, is that why? And Leighton sat there absolutely, literally wetting himself, laughing at me. And I was like, what? And he was like, are you joking? And I was like, no. He said, we're still in Europe. Europe's a continent. I don't know if it's a continent. I'm so dumb. I'm so uneducated. Anyway, he was like, we're still in Europe. We've left the EU. The EU is like a political part, like a political thing. Not, we've not actually left Europe. We're still in Europe, so we can still be in the Euros. I felt so dumb. And then at work the other day, two people I work with said it as well. And I was thinking, so it's not just me. And I've seen loads of tweets and stuff. Um, so a lot of people do think the same way as me, uneducated really, isn't it? That's the Matt Give Me Sun, I've used this for years, I need to find new products for like everything, I'm just open to trying new things. I did get this e.l.f. powder and I use it for work and stuff because I don't like using expensive makeup for work, but then I don't like going to work without makeup on. And my last Primark video has done very well, we're like on the road to like, would I say 2k subscribers because I've hit 1k. And you're not going to be like 1.1k, 1.2k, 1.3k. So like, I'm on the road to 2k subs and I kind of can't believe it. Like, it makes me really, really, really happy. I never thought, like, I would keep it up this long. And I've not missed an upload since I started YouTube again in December. I think I started it, or November. And I wasn't going to film today because I need to upload this tomorrow. I don't have a video for tomorrow. And I was like, oh, I'll do like a tipsy get ready with me. And I wasn't gonna, because I was like, oh, I'm just not, I'm just not gonna. And then Leighton was like, I think you should. And then I thought about it, and I thought if I don't film, I'll go out and I'll keep thinking about it, and I'll be in a mood. And I do want to put a video on every Sunday. I can't put one on twice a week, so I at least want to put one on once a week. And then I just kind of was like, yeah, I'm gonna film and put it on, because I was like, oh, no one will want to see me get ready. But I've got to do a variety of videos. I can't do a Primark haul every week as much as I'd like to. Primark hauls and like home hauls are probably like my favourite videos to do. I am doing a, a home haul, a homeware, like B&M home bargains. One of them will be up next week because me and Leighton are gonna go tomorrow and I'm gonna spend a lot of money, obviously. But yeah, they're one of my favourite videos to film. I might sculpt out my nose a little bit. This is like a new thing I've been doing. I don't know. if it even looks that good to be honest, but. Actually, I didn't watch all the games of Leighton so far. On Tuesday, was it Tuesday? Wednesday, Leighton went out with his friends to watch it and I had the girls around. It was so fun. I've never watched football with the girls. Um, but yeah, it was actually really fun, like watching it with them. This is 
battered. This is the Ofra mini highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Um, I've used, had about three of these now, I think. Also need to find a new highlighter. I'm one of them girls that like stick to the same products that I know because I know I like them. Whereas I don't wanna put something on that I don't know if I'm gonna like and then absolutely hate it. So I'd rather just stick to what I know. I am one of them girls that just play it safe. I need to sort these bits of hair out actually before I go out. Tuck them behind the ear. Right, let me just try and do my eyebrows. I'll be back. They're my hardest thing to do. That's what I need a new one of as well. A new eyebrow product because I've used this for so many years and I think it goes a bit grey now, like down here. I'd love to unprivate one of my videos soon that I made in 2017. So it was when I was at college. I really wanted to do YouTube. And I do think now, like, if I'd started YouTube in 2017, like, where would I be now? I do think that. I made two videos. Um, one was, like, a QA, and a and the other was a Get Ready With Me. They were both, I look vile. So I was 17, I think. And I was at college, so I didn't want anyone to know. Now I don't care, but I didn't want anyone to know. I didn't want people to find out. So I, like, had them had them not on private for, I had them public for, I don't know, maybe like a couple of weeks and then I put them on private and never did it again. And then it's like always been on my mind before I actually started properly. I was like, I want to start YouTube. I just really wanted to do it, so I just did it. But I would love to, or react to them, react to it or something. It's just so cringe. I don't know if they're my brows are even, even. When you're looking at me in the mirror. Do you know what my favorite thing to do at the moment is? To blast out, um, oh my God, what is the song? It's one that's like crying on the bathroom floor or something. Oh God knows, the one that's like all over TikTok. I just blast it out of my car, sing it so loud and I'm in like a relationship. I go in with, sorry not sorry, this palette has been through the wars, I love it though. I go in with sorry not sorry and I'm gonna do a little wing. It's like a smudged out wing. I think they look so much nicer than like a black wing. The other day I went to get my COVID vaccine. If you haven't got vaccine yet, get vaccine. But anyway, I went to get my COVID vaccine and I was slightly hungover and Leighton dropped me off and I started crying my eyes out in the car before and Leighton was like, Leighton's not very sympathetic. He was like, grow up, stop crying, get out the car and get in the queue and get it done. Stop being pathetic. I was actually crying my eyes out. I was hungover, yeah. But I was crying my eyes out. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna have to get out. Leighton's gonna shout me. And he, Leighton was like, if not, we'll just go home. And my dad really wanted me to get the jab. And I do get it. Like I, if we can't go on a holiday without the jab, I want the jab. So I got out of the car, big girl, went and got my jab. So like I was waiting. You don't wait for very long. Went in, the man that did my jab was so nice. Um, it was really quick. I honestly barely felt it, but that's the thing. I big it up so much i'm the same with my lips i make myself so anxious and i've got so much adrenaline that once i've had it done it's like all the adrenaline like coming out my body and i faint well i don't faint but i nearly faint so what happened was like they had a massive tent outside and loads of people have said to me like if you don't drive there you don't have to wait for 15 minutes so that's why leighton took me and then i came out of my jab and I tried to run past the tent. The tent was full as well. Like there was not very many spaces left in there. And I tried to run past the tent and then the lady was like, excuse me, come and sit in the tent, please. They literally give you a piece of paper of like the time you could leave as well. And so then one, I was embarrassed because this lady had called me back into the tent in front of all these people. And they were young people as well because they were like, must have all been like my age, maybe a little bit older. So one, they were all young people. Two, she'd call me back in front of everyone. I was like, excuse me, come back to the tent and sit down. So I sit down and I've got, I have a t-shirt on with cycling shorts and like this big puffer coat. And oh, me being me. I was watching TikToks trying to like take my mind off it and it didn't work. So I started to get really, really hot. So I took off my coat and I was like, breathe, breathe. I texted Leighton like, Leighton, I think I'm gonna faint. It's like, breathe, I was taking deep breaths in and out. And then like, it does what it does when I get my lips done. Everything like went really blurry and my whole vision went black. And then I like, couldn't see anything. And I said to the lady, there was like a girl next to me, I was like, I really don't feel well. And she was like, oh, are you all right? 
that's how embarrassing I am. I was like to the girl next to me, I don't feel well. Because the lady that was looking at the tent, she was like at the very front of the tent and I was near the back. So I said to this girl, like, I really don't feel well. I'm so embarrassing. And she was like, oh no, what's up? And I was like, I just can't see anything. I think I'm going to faint. And she was like, I'll just like put your head between your legs and like, wait, I'll get the lady's attention. So then she was trying to get the lady's attention. And then the lady came over and in front of everyone was like, you need to lay on the floor. I absolutely had none of it. I said, no. But that's the thing. Once I've spoken about how I feel, I feel better. It's really weird. And I was fine after that. I sat there and then as soon as my time was up, I absolutely ran off because I was so embarrassed I'd made such a scene. No one else makes a scene, do they? Just me. After I've done this bit of makeup, I need to moisturise my whole body, finish my hair and leave the house. And now, after that vaccine experience, I don't want my second one. But apparently I've got to. And then I've got my matte strip down also guys who thinks ellie darby's had a baby i think she's going to announce it soon maybe sunday she's been quiet for quite a few days now i hope she hasn't had like complications and i don't know what she's going to call him like i'm thinking either something like harry or Sebastian, like Seb, or Noah. Like, they're my three guesses. Or, like, Roman, which I don't think she'd do Roman. I think she's going to be quite traditional, I think. I don't know. But I just really want to see what he looks like and see what he's called. Like, I just can't wait to see what he's called. Yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy me just rambling on doing my makeup. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next week for a new video. Bye guys!